Hey everybody, it's Brian. Today we're going to take a look at the Canvas gradebook. So I've got one pulled up here and it looks different than your gradebook. So let's see how to turn this on. In your menu, you're going to go to settings on the bottom left. And in the settings, across the top, there's a tab called feature options that'll pop up in just a second. You want to click on feature options. So you see this list and then about halfway down is this new gradebook. Turn that switch on. So it's a gray X, turn it on so it's a green check mark. And then I'll go back to my gradebook and we'll talk about some of the changes that were made. So once you've enabled a new gradebook, you've got some better sorting and some different options in the gradebook that make it a little bit more robust. Uh, so first of all, the view changes a little bit. It's a lot cleaner. Unpublished assignments are called out in red, so I can post things in there, but I don't have to publish them. They can show up and I'm, they're visible for me as a teacher. Um, if you remember, sorting in Canvas was kind of a pain because I would click on this and it would sort the column, but now there's a little menu button and I can do different things. You can sort or message students who have not completed or who have scored such and such, so you can communicate a little bit better. Um, I can set the default grade, which means I can, um, if it's not scored, I can give it a 0 out of 3 for everybody or a 3 out of 3 for everybody, whatever I want it to be really, which makes grading much faster. In the view, now we can arrange grades by due date. So I can look from oldest to newest. You can sort by points or modules if you want to think about your units, however you've done that. Or you can sort them A to Z, which is also nice. Under the filters, I can show only modules, and that adds another menu over here. So now I can look at only assignments in module A versus assignments in module B, which is nice. Um, it does that sorting for me. I can also sort by assignment category if I had assignment category set up. Um, in the actions, this is where you would sync to post your grades. So remember the old gradebook has export over here and you hit export post grades, but now I want to sync to post grades. And when I do that, it gives me a list of items that I could then check through. Um, just like before, my course isn't published yet, so I can't, but yours, it would say, which of these do you want to post? It would throw any errors, things like that. And you could uh, adjust those. The last thing that's nice in this gear icon over here, if you hit the gear, now you can set late policies. So if you have a late policy where you deduct a percentage uh, for late days, um, or if you just have a flat late assignment grade, you can turn that on. The missing submission can grade to whatever you want. And I can also apply deductions. Uh, you do not need to have both. You can turn one or the other, and you can deduct any percentage. So if you want to take 7% for every day or every hour, uh, you can do that. And then you can set a lowest possible grade. And so that way you don't have to worry about um, how much do I take off or whatever. It will apply those deductions immediately. So again, to turn that on, it's in settings. Turn on the new gradebook. Uh, you've got some filtering options. You've got some overall course action options. You've got some assignment options here, which are nice. Um, so take a look at that and let us know if you have questions.